Hello world and welcome to Carowinds' only on-site hotel. It's the Spring Hill Suites. We're gonna go in there and give you a little tour of the hotel, let you see the gym, the pool, stuff like that, and also give you a room tour. So at the end of this video, I'm gonna give you five tips on how to improve your stay here. So make sure you stick around, but let's go get at it. But before we get inside, I wanted to show you guys the distance between the hotel and the amusement park, Carowinds. Now it's important to note that it does not have a tram that runs between the two at this moment, so you can walk or drive your car over there. If you decide to walk to Carowinds, they do have a nice little uh, sidewalk right there. I don't know if you can see it, but it keeps you out of traffic and gives you a place to walk to go to Carowinds and enjoy the park. All right, we're gonna head on up to the room here. This is gonna be our first view of the lobby. We'll see what she looks like. Yeah, nice, it looks like they have a little wet bar over here. Is that what you call it? I don't know what a wet bar is. <laughs> Here's the desk where you check in. Looks like they have some drinks and little snacks back there. And a little breakfast, oh, they serve breakfast here. There's the hours currently. Don't trust me on this if you're watching this a long time from where this is recorded because they could change those hours. So you might want to check their website and uh, make sure you know what the hours are for breakfast. All right, our room is 115. Let's go in here and see what it looks like. I've already done a little hunting and we found out some cool stuff. There is... This isn't that cool, but there's your thermostat for the wall. This is what I thought it was cool. I think my wife called it a trundle bed. But yeah, underneath the couch, you have a pull-out bed there. Future Brad here, that couch actually makes two beds. One on the top and the pull-out one on the bottom one. You can see it in this picture here. I just wanted to let you guys know that. Now let's get back to the video. So if your kids wanted to sleep over there, you can. Now we did get the... King, the queen bed or no that's a king bed sorry we have a single king bed as you can see right over there but when you come in through the door let's talk about this little section it is like a little coffee section you've got your keurig type of machine here there's your ice bucket and your coffee stuff it took me forever to get, figure out how to open these doors but up here at the top if you just stick your fingers up there you can open the doors that way so there is your microwave and your fridge. Now we do have uh, soy milk in there because my daughter does have a dairy allergy. And if you wanted to know, Food Line is just right down the road, about five minutes away, maybe a little bit more. And if you're here to do a little bit of work, you have like a little workstation here with your own lamp and USBs galore. USBs there and up in the outlet. And you can also shut this window thing here if you need some privacy from the, the bed section of the room. All right, so let's head on over to the bed. And I thought this was pretty cool. Let's talk about this for a second. You've got your normal lamp and you've got your reading lamp. So you have two switches there. That's pretty cool that you have like a little reading lamp. And there's your phone. My daughter has already knocked that off the hook and your alarm clock and as with the other outlet you do have usbs there and in the alarm clock let me move mini here my daughter has already laid mini mouse down there all right so there's a look at the bed you also have oh it looks like this side does not have usbs huh interesting so let's open this up that's an empty drawer so you do not have usbs on that side here's a look at your air conditioner it is like a Kind of like a window unit kind of thing and when you open the closet you have bedding for your trundle bed that little pull out bed from underneath the couch i just showed you you've got an iron an ironing board and like a luggage rack in here and a ton of clothes hangers for your clothes if you if you're the type of person that likes hanging your clothes up you can big old mirror on that all right, and this is gonna give you a look at the bathroom section for at least the shower area. All right, and let's go on in here and see what the sink looks like. Hey there. All right, um, no USBs in the sink area, but that's all right. 
He comes with body lotion and looks like face cleaner. All right, there's a look at your sink. Comes with some extra towels and a hair dryer right there. Comes with tissues and there's your trash can. And it's one of those cool like doors that you slide across. I love those. All right, let's go look at the toilet area. So it comes with another sink here. Um, there's some outlets and things to plug stuff into and a little towel rack to wipe your hands off and Paul Mitchell soap it says face and body bar. All right. So there is a look at your toilet. Pretty standard, but very clean and nice. And last but not least, this is your TV section right here. It's a decent sized TV. Let's see if it pulls out because usually when the beds are at an angle, yeah, usually when the beds are at an angle like this, the TV will pull out so that that way, if you're laying in bed, you can angle it towards the bed. Or if you're sitting on the couch, you can angle it towards the couch. So that's how that works. It's a decent sized TV. Nothing massive, nothing tiny. It's all right. And there's your remote. What is this? Antiseptic wipes. So since we're in the day and age of the face mask, I guess they gave us that. And there are two drawers there with nothing in them. All in all, I don't think it's a bad room at all. Very clean. And I think it's decorated pretty nicely. But I hope you guys enjoyed their little room tour there. I almost forgot, before we leave, let's look at this view. Hey, there's your view. Now we are room 115 and it, I think personally, this is just a hunch, but if you had an even numbered room like 114, you're gonna be on the other side of the hotel and probably get a better view of Carowinds. But I don't really mind the view. It's not that big of a deal to me, to be honest. All right, now we're really done with the room tour. So let's go around and see what this place has, like maybe their gym and stuff like that. Back to breakfast. The breakfast is complimentary here in the morning. So make sure you wake up a little early and get yourself a free breakfast. And I don't know if you can see that. Let's walk over here and check out the view. This is a cool view. Right up there. It's a pretty good view of the Intimidator and the sky tower and stuff they have an outdoor seating area with like a little fire pit over there that overlooks the park now we booked this hotel so that we could take our daughter to this little swimming pool here and give her the evening to play in the water um, our original booking they said that it wasn't open yet so we moved it to today and guess what <laughs> It's closed. So you may want to call and make sure that the pool is open before you reserve it because we've tried twice and it seems like it's just closed a lot. Here's a better look at the little snack area. You can come over here and purchase things, charge your room, or you can just pay for it. And they have drinks over here. And it looks like frozen food and ice cream right here. Like TV dinners and ice cream. These two kind of go hand in hand. So this is the little business center. You can use this to hook to the internet and do some business. It is out in the hallway, so there's not that much privacy. Here is the meeting room if you are interested in doing that. There's a big table there, and I don't know if you can see it, but like a dry erase board over there, and a TV. Right, we're gonna look through the door for the fitness center because it says right now during this time, you need to ask the front desk for access. And I'm not really gonna use it. I just wanted to show you guys, but there you go. You got some treadmills and some weights. All right, it's the next day here and we almost missed the free continental breakfast. So let's head on out there and check out what it's like. All right, let's see what they got here. There's some yogurt in the fridge. Eggs. Turkey sausage. Muffins and bagels. Here's where you get your coffee. 
And here's the little coffee bar area. It looks like they have maple and brown sugar oatmeal, apples and cinnamon oatmeal, uh, gluten-free oatmeal. And as mentioned before, the little waffle machine with the syrup station. Hey, this is what I got for breakfast. I got the muffin, the oatmeal, the orange juice, yogurt, and turkey sausage and egg. It looks pretty good. The, the sausage is a little bit dry, but it'll be okay. Trust me, guys, it's not that bad for free. I'm not going to complain about anything that's free. <laughs> oh, all right. It is tip time now. Thanks for staying this long through the video. All right, the first tip I want to give you guys, and this is very important, make sure you use your annual pass to get a discount at this hotel. The Spring Hill Suites gives annual pass discounts. Um, it's it's going to be uh, putting money in your pocket, so why not use it? The second tip I'm going to give you, and we found this out last night when we got here, is use the hotel to get your water park wristband. When you go to Carolina Harbor here at Carowinds, they ask that you get a wristband to get into the water park. And instead of waiting in those long lines over there at Carowinds, you can go ahead and grab your wristband here at Spring Hill Suites in the lobby. So just go up to the front desk, tell them that you're going to the water park tomorrow or today, and they will give you that wristband. So make sure you do that. It's gonna save you a lot of time. All right, the next one I'm gonna, the next tip I'm gonna give you is going to be, if you've got little ones that are excited about the pool, make sure you call ahead and make sure it's open. Because we've been, uh, we've had two different dates booked here. We really, I back that up. We've had one date booked and we've had to move it because of the pool and the pool is still closed. So luckily it didn't really bother us that much because we do have, um, we did have water park reservations for that day. So it wasn't that big of a deal to miss out on the pool because we got the entire water park. Um, my next tip, tip number four, is going to be consider going out. There's a few things to do around this hotel. They have a, I think it's a Cabela's. It's in one of those outdoor shops. I'll show it on a clip right now. They have a famous Dave's restaurant. You can get some like barbecue there, like ribs and pulled pork and stuff. People say it's really good. There's also a Moe's a Culver's. Now, if you've not tried Culver's, that's an experience. They've got these things called Butter Burgers, and oh my goodness, they're good. And they also have a Cracker Barrel down the road. So make sure you hit up those things, try them out if you enjoy food like that and shopping like that. All right, the last tip, tip number five I'm going to give you is to make use of the TVs because they have Netflix, HBO Go, and Prime Video. So if you're stuck in the room, maybe you get back from Carowinds a little early, you hop into your room here at Spring Hill Suites and your kid is going crazy, make sure you put on something that they can watch from Netflix, HBO Go, or Prime Video. Because you do get that included in your room for free on your TV. All right, that's a wrap for our stay here at Spring Hill Suites at Carowinds in Charlotte, North Carolina. I hope you guys enjoyed it. We had a good time at this hotel. It wasn't anything crazy fancy, but it was insanely clean. I thought the room was pretty big. The bed was comfortable. It was quiet at night. I enjoyed it. So the biggest part about this is would I stay here again? And the answer is yes, I, I would. I didn't have any real big issue with this place. It was perfectly fine. So with that being said, thanks for playing, but it's game over.